Nevada, did you did you know about Kirsten's insecurities about going out in public with Shaq? I would say not necessarily that particular insecurity, but again, just kind of that miscommunication because it's like I feel felt insecure in that moment. Yet Shaq was still like, well, that would have been a moment for me to feel secure. But again, that miscommunication. I wish that everything would have worked out for them. I feel like they would have been a perfect couple, a great power couple. Why couldn't they get there? Good question. I would love to know. It's the question I think everybody's asking. I think the expectations were way too high. I think the pressure um, on both of them. I just always kind of gave the advice to them that you're married. Um, but you still have to vet each other. You still have to get to know each other. You know, you still have to be transparent. You have to be open um, in order to even move forward. Um, my heart goes out to them, but they're going to be amazing. They're going to be great. You sound like they're going to be great together. You sound like you're saying they're going to be great together. Is that what you're saying? They're going to be great. I love you guys. Do you think that there is hope for these two? It's really between the two of them and without the cameras and everything, Maybe it will be different, and you know, you're still my daughter-in-law, and I love you. There you go. That's what I was. She, she said, "You're still my daughter-in-law." She said it every time. What? How's my daughter-in-law? I'm like, oh. Would you be happy if they got back together? Yeah, I would love it. Okay. I'd yes. Like <laughs> Why wouldn't I? No, I, I think they're a great couple, Labanda. Would you be happy if they got back together? I would. You would? I would. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you something, it was great having you all both here to add a little Thank perspective to this. And there are two great women in your lives, so it's good <laughs> that they are here to help you all navigate this situation. We love you all and we appreciate you. We love you more. Love you. Ladies, thanks for coming out. Thanks, thanks for, for having being us. here. Thank uh-huh. you. Thanks. Okay. All right. Let me ask you this. He did say no on decision yeah. day, but let's both pour into our part Mm -hmm. in this, you know? And some of those things that happened with not doing enough, not hanging with the family, that affected his mindset. Mm -hmm. But you heard him say Mm -hmm. he regrets it. Mm -hmm. Think about that. He didn't say he didn't want to be with you. He felt like he could not be the man you wanted. And that's my honest truth behind it. Like... I want you to find that person. Hell, if that person is me again, then so be it. You're hearing this, right? At this point, like... You're hearing it. I, I mean, this is just silly. Right now, this is just silly. Just We're sitting here this. and there, and y'all are like, hey, all the signals, the mamas want them to be together, and these <laughs> two are just trying to play this game. We're going in circles, y'all. We are really going in circles. We're here. You're here during the reunion. Y'all are like, go out have dinner tonight. Go take out. Go out with your mamas. Oh, hold on. Why don't y'all go out? Like... Let's make this the first step. I'm good for dinner. Right now, I feel optimistic. I come out of I come out of this feel better. I don't know about y'all, but I feel really good. I feel great too. You feel like this was and a I good. think it was this needed. Was yeah, yeah, for us to really talk through it, you know, with someone else that can actually help us see, mm-hmm. you know, our flaws in it and help us oh. acknowledge, you know, where we were and where we are now. Definitely. Just call me Dr. Kevin. Um, when we come back, it's time to bring out Dominique and McKinley. You know, they barely made it two weeks before parting ways, and it was not without drama. Don't go away. Coming up, how did you guys go?